Elijah the Tishbite was one of the settlers of Gilead. As Adonai, the God of Israel lives, before whom I stand, there shall not be any dew nor rain these years, but according to my word. Then the word of Adonai came to him. Go away from here, turn eastward and hide yourself by the brook Kirith, that is before the Jordan. You shall drink from the brook. I have commanded the ravens to feed you there. So he went and did according to the word of Adonai, for he went and lived by the brook Cherith, that is before the Jordan. The ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning, and bread and meat in the evening, and he drank from the brook. After a while, the brook dried up, because there was no rain in the land. The word of Adonai came to him. Arise, go to Zarephath, which belongs to Sidon, and stay there. Behold, I have commanded a widow there to sustain you. So he arose and went to Zarephath. And when he came to the gate of the city, behold, a widow was there, gathering sticks. Please. Give me a little water in a jar that I may drink. As she was going to get it, he called to her. Please, uh, bring me a morsel of bread and, uh, for my hand. As Adonai, your God, lives, I don't have a cake, but a handful of meal in a jar and a little oil in a jar. Mm. Behold, I am gathering two sticks that I may go in and bake it for me and my son, mm. that we may eat it and die. Don't be afraid. Go and do as you have said. But make me a little cake from it first and bring it out to me and afterward Make some for you and for your son for Adonai The God of Israel says the jar of meal will not run out And the jar of oil will not fail until the day that Adonai sends rain on the earth, on the earth. Don't be afraid, will go and do as you have said, but make me a little pain from your first and my fear. She went and did according to the saying of Elijah, and she and he and her house ate many days. The jar of meal <laughs> did not run out, and the jar of oil did not fail, according to the word of Adonai, which he spoke to Elijah. After these things, the son of the woman, the mistress of the house, became sick, and his sickness was so severe that there was no breath left in him. What have I to do with you, you man of God? You have come to bring my sin to memory and to kill my son? Give me your son. He took him out of her bosom and carried him up into the room where he stayed and laid him on his own bed. Lord! 
Lord, my God! Have you also brought evil on the widow with whom I am stained by killing her son? He stretched himself on the child three times. Lord, my God, please let this child's soul come into him again. Adonai listened to the voice of Elijah and to the soul of the child come into him again. And he revived. Elijah <laughs> took the child and brought him down out of the room into the house and delivered him to his mother. Behold, your son lives! Now I know that you are a man of God, and that Adonai's word in your mouth is truth! <laughs>